Hi, everyone. Welcome. My name is Ira Fay, and I'm joined by Summer McLovin. Hey, guys. So we are actually going to do live commentary on the finals of the War of the Ring 2021 tournament. And neither of us have seen this game. So we are starting from the beginning and we'll go through it and comment as we go. Just to set the stage, Saved by Him is Jason. And he was higher seed in the Swiss tournament, and therefore he chose which side to play first, and he chose Free Peoples. And Lord Aragorn is Aaliyah, and he's playing Shadow. So we've, we're have viewing hands, and um, that's how it has started off. So Aaliyah allocated one eye and rolled one more. And you can see the, you can see the rolls as they are right now. Uh, anything to add? Uh, Andrew, as we kick it off. So we have uh, Jason, of course, the formidable Free People's military player. Uh, he's even picked his password, Dwarves Blackgate. So let's look for that assault and murder from Erebor happening. That sounds uh, pretty good. So we'll see, good. see how it goes. He may, he may be forced into uh, playing a, a normal game, like a normal player, but he's got power to a great to start off, which is always a great start. Right, so, and see in, how that goes. And in fact, in fact, it would be possible. Just looking at the rules, it would be possible for Jason to get the elves to war. Turn one, move once with the with the character die, and then could get elves to war right away. Obviously, that facilitates an early. Uh, yeah, which there's game. not many attacks. Yeah, not many attacks for the shadow. And if he doesn't expect it, he's not going to get set around to war and have a muster ready. Right. I would expect with this you'll get Saruman out. But maybe not. Right. But then would you use so, this... Yeah, and then as, as Shadow, I wonder, would you use that army muster as a muster or as an army? So we start off by playing playing yeah. oh, Flocks of Kribane. That's very interesting. That is a card that I, I don't... Let him get one move out. Yeah. yeah, I just, I don't value that card very highly. And knowing knowing that I have a second Palantir here, I would be inclined to draw a card first. And if but, it's not better, you could play Phlox. Right. Something. But maybe you're trying to catch them right away. I mean, I feel like often I would save Phlox of Curbane for the move over Moria. Yeah. All right. So Jason chose to cycle an early character card instead of yeah. an early strategy card. It's got a good draw on it, I'd say. I think you don't want to get power too great out too early necessarily because that would be very easy to discard. Right, right. Yeah, and I wonder here why if if you know that you're going to draw a strategy card after playing this character card, I mean, why not why not draw a card first? I would I guess I would now he can use it if as yep. here happens to move in the fellowship straight away. He's not using But no flops. And it would have worked. It Obviously, would hindsight, have worked. But, yeah. But right. to, to fling it out his first time is surely to stop the first move. Otherwise, he might even not move it, discard it. Like, to clear on zero in Rivendell. Which is a bit of a waste, just to avoid flocks, but... <laughs> that would yeah. be impressive. Just to stop, yeah, just to stop one movement on the it's first like, well, turn. Well, now I'm game. not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because... Yeah, well, I, that fair, wouldn't be so bad. I mean, I think that... play file instead. If he's got playable character cards, that's not bad. Right. Like, well, he only had repeat. one. Oh, right. If you redrew Axe yeah. and Bow, and then... Which he did after he chose to... Before he chose to move, so... Yeah. But yeah, fair enough. How he big got away is, with it. And how big is the threat of Phlox of Corbain? I just feel like it's a pretty small threat. You know, it increases your chances only by, you know, one sixth well, per, per die that you're rolling. It is. That is true, but that is also 100% on the first move in the turn, so... Yeah, it is already one sixth. Right, 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 right. It doubles your chances on the first doubles, move. Doubles your chance, which yeah, that's a good. So way. yes, it's going for Saruman. From those yeah, sides. Saruman makes sense, and then oh, Gondor. So not elves. Mm. That's interesting. Okay. With a power too great, I always feel tempted to get elves a little closer to war. Yeah. Okay. Because then, get... well, you can you can deploy at a time where you're about to be attacked, right? And might have your. Uh, yeah, so elves and Gondor. Elves <laughs> and Gondor. Right, that makes sense. That way you can do one, it doesn't look too suspicious, then you so, can do the second one. All right. Yes, yeah, so I was going to say, Mordor armies seem the most likely. So there you go. 
And but he does need to commit to North or Gondor. We'll see. Right. Right. And pretty that, standard first turn. Pretty standard first turn. And that wasn't a that wasn't a muster. So now Shadow has you know eight dice, One but eye, still okay. but still needs still needs more muster. Okay, yeah. that's Manny gets amazing. Yeah, few penalties already. Oh, uh, ha, ha. but no movement. There was only one eye, uh-huh. but free people rolls no movement. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see what we get. So it's not. It's only got the one playable card as well. So could see what shadows cards they got were. Two playable cards, okay. right? The the file, the, the file or the Just, or power two. Uh, card. power two great fair. And you can, and you can muster elves down, as we said. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Ooh, corsairs. an early corsair and horde from the east. Really tilts towards Sethrons. Right, right. That's great. But that is also two deadly strifes, which are applicable on every theater. Yes. Oh, look at that. South so he is going for the Sethrons. With Rons. those two cards. Right, but even before. Bef- Sethron, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's very surprising. Maybe in a Lords of Middle Earth game, perhaps, to stop. Gladriel and Elrond coming out by in base, just Sauron straight away is uh easy move to make. And there's power so to great. Power great. And does he get a good redraw? Oh, oh. Kirden Shibs, that's just <laughs> what he needed. And he, he needs to get Elstown now, of course. Yeah, but that will happen. Easy peasy. Alright, so here's Sauron's coming. Yeah, that's really it's interesting. Very, uh, it does I mean Umbar and the Corsairs definitely is a very telegraphed move when you go there instead of West Toronto, but moving them down before uh, Sauron would definitely make me think, okay, Corsairs are coming. Right. Because <laughs> that's a big mu- muster investment heavy at the start. I guess he's going to play Horde from the East and then and then get Sauron to war. So he wanted to use this Palantir it doesn't need to discard a card. That's a good point. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. But here come the elves, surely. Yeah. Elves are at war. And now there are not two musters to get Sauron and the Witch King out. Right. Right. So, yep, you're right. Hard from the east. But, yeah, up there, because he's got enough armies in the south. Yeah, and, you know, it definitely makes... This is going to allow Jason to defend the elven strongholds very well, but mm-hmm. it's still going to be a problem for for him because yes Dol Amroth will be defended by Kyrdan but these these armies are uh, big mm-hmm. alright but well with Kyrdan and Dol Amroth as well uh, that means there's, you're using two of your four elites down there and the elves are certainly not so well defended right if this army comes into Woodland Realm and then this these armies come into Lorien you might have trouble defending Woodland Realm and Lorien and Dol Amroth all with just elves exactly okay so but Jason yes. cycles it's some... this early though it was really a shame for Jason not to get any char- any movement while mm-hmm. while on only one eye do you yeah. think do you think he'll use this ring do you think he'll use a ring to move on I one I don't think so too early. Um, Jason, probably not. Maybe more. You're less military, tactical players. Right. He's happy uh, to get this good. muster. Yeah, I think so. Do you think for Woodland Realm? Where would you put it? Let's see. Oh, Elven nope. Ring. No. Okay. I think continuing, I continuing to keep the fellowship moving, especially when it gets one die yeah. on a six. A flock scan. Okay. Not wasted this time. Okay, so next round. So Shadow is getting great, great cards. I love these tile drawing cards early on. And let's see what Free has. Bilbo Song. Oh, Thrandles. Don't really need it as much now that the elves are at war. But still, nice little trick. Mm-hmm. You can sort of bait, bait Shadow with only one muster in Woodland Realm. And yeah, it doesn't need to muster in advance with the hard from the east showing up as well right all right that's a that's a pleasant role for both oh, of them now yeah so. yes there's enough mustering around yeah enough uh, so they can smash it and the will of the west i mean 
I think uh, mm-hmm. Jason is likely to be able to get Gandalf this round, or has has at least some chances. Yeah, this is going to play Thanduil. Mm. Yeah, that's a little surprising so, to me. I guess you want to get scouts. He's trying to redraw. True. Yeah, to try and get scouts for this Iron Hills dwarf. Yeah, that's the thing. Airborne is usually the victim when you've got a big. You've either got many kings or horse in the east beefing up the easterlings. Ah, Imrahil. Yeah. Very nice draw. That's a good one. What's interesting, though, is I, I'm not sure that I would have done that because the problem is I really want to. I think I would be pretty excited to get Gandalf this round. And so. It's possible that Shadow could attack Dol Amroth this round, mm-hmm. right? There could be... Oh, a, I think he will as well. An army movement. And then if I don't... If if Shadow has this army of eight units plus two elites, or seven units plus two elites, on, on Dol Amroth, and then the Free People does not immediately play some reinforcement... Then I think as Shadow, I might be attempted. I might be tempted to make that attack even without any leadership there. So yeah. Jason is putting himself in a tough position if he if he doesn't lose Gandalf on the first move. So but here's uh, Sauron, which suddenly you got to get your will to rest. An early day with it dawn could be. Yeah, maybe there wasn't enough. Special. Maybe there weren't enough actions. Maybe maybe actually I'm wrong about. It's that. hard with four dice. What was what was Shadow's first action? Oh, an army movement. Yeah, okay, I'm wrong about that. So it was impossible. It's impossible to get both the Witch King and an attack against Dol Amroth. Because you had two movements plus two for mustering the Witch King plus the one to play Corsairs. You only had five dice. So it was actually impossible to attack Dol Amroth and get Witch King this round. Mm-hmm. So that makes sense, Cycle, if you can. All right. So it's moving with the spell, that's what I thought. Now yeah. I would use flocks with three dice. Yeah, of course. And Moria. Yeah. Uh, being... No flocks. Oh, Still no flocks. That's three surprising. fives rolled. Let's see. That's really surprising. Why did he? Why did he play uh, maybe flocks? Maybe stop in Lalorian move or something. But, but yeah, isn't this strange. way more important? Isn't this the moment? Oh, oh but he, he gets six. a six well, anyway. Oh, oh, he was really and an eye. Okay, and a reveal. So, but does it take Gandalf? Or, yeah, use X and both to block it and so, hope for a high tile. Yeah, that's really interesting. Was, was the hunt you, really going that bad for the Free Peoples? I would be tempted to declare into Moria. Right here, and then lose... Hmm. Hmm. Well, this is the only uh, tile so far. Right, but why... It's just it's low. No, I know, but if you look, there are three eyes and two zeros. Those are going to be worse, unless you want to keep Gandalf. But those are going to be worse if you're trying to lose Gandalf. Could do. Let's find out what it does. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Less sorry, of Byron sorry. talking. More of watching what so, Jason does. Yeah, he's going to go into Moria. Yeah, yeah into it has to be. It has to be. The other thing is one other thing about Axe and Bow. I would have saved Axe and Bow to get a little corruption, and then if I draw, if I want to play healing card or get some healing effect, mm-hmm. then I can use it effectively. And Axe and Bow protects me from a one on foul thing from the deep. This ah, is a good perfect. Point. He doesn't know that foul thing, but yes, it paid off. I'd say unless the yeah. rolls and horror happen in Moria, and we'll find it. Okay, so this what it's got. Yeah, no, go ahead. What he's got to be afraid of that he doesn't know is that he's in Moria with foul things in the deep there and, and the sealed frame. <laughs> yeah. So he can hide and then get revealed and draw another tile and then hide and then reveal again. Yeah. So And take random casualties and it's not going to be a good time. No, no, it's not. But note that Shadow does not have any character or Palantir actions. So mm-hmm. to take advantage of that, he'll have to use, he'll have to use a, a, a ring. Which it does have. But I don't think it will right now. Because we're going to have Gandalf and maybe a height. And if the first action is to redraw. Right, but my point is... Next right, yeah. but Shadow's going to have to decide. Does he want to spend that ring to get the chance at the at the two-for-one? Because if you look at the hunt pool, 
I mean, there are five tiles in there that could get you a two for one. Yeah. I think I would probably use a ring, but he's uh, not. After he hides. Or of course. Not of course. Hide. Yes. Yeah. After he hides. For sure. Yeah. And if he doesn't tell next turn, even better. Whoa. Oh, okay. Ring. So we're threatening. We're threatening um, Woodland Realm. I would have been able to besiege Woodland. Shadow would have been able to besiege Woodland Realm if another ring wasn't used. What is it? H. Oh, Jason is mustering. Is yeah, Jason. okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay. That's the second ring used already. Yeah. And then which, and then which king comes? Mm -hmm. Okay. That it's was a, a very battle, interesting though. turn. Oh my gosh, and Nazgul oh, Surge. Nazgul Surge. Just guaranteed <laughs> reveal. So many. This could oh. be really bad. I played a game recently where there were three tiles drawn from Moria. Three extra tiles. Mm. So that right, can so certainly So the promise is an easy discard. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Right after the Witch King's Bright. Yeah, they're both thinking yeah. about what to discard. I see the stewards, I guess. Or, well, Great Company, maybe. Yeah, those are it's both. Just as bad. <laughs> yeah, not so useful. And here... What would you Offer get choice. Mm. Maybe the king is revealed. But Foul thing. Foul, deep. Foul thing. Over a Amazing. That mm. is a shocker. <laughs> wow. Okay. I mean, these are all great but cards. Swarm the bats is a good thing. I or probably I would maybe even. Or well, no, king is, I feel like I would have gotten. I would probably. I would have gone rid of kings, especially yeah. over. Uh, Interesting. Oh, great company. Easy enough. Four oh, eyes. <laughs> no, and no characters. No character dice. Again. He's got at least one to play with a ring. Right, but it's unfortunate to have to yeah. use a ring. Okay, hide. Just flipping. Just yep, mustering Nazgul. Here. Nazgul makes sense. But no characters to get into space. I would have put it in uh, would you have been a sparkle where you've got an army in the very it's a dog builder, but it makes sense to drop one in Moria at least. Yeah. I mean presumably they're gonna move at some point. I don't know that it matters. Yeah, but why it's not? Just put not it right now. Right. Exactly. Well, why not? Yeah. Um it's interesting though that was the chance to use Isildur's Bane to try and catch the fellowship. Mm -hmm. And they move. Because if it gets revealed it, it doesn't double down on it. So He's just going to get his reroll. And now is the time for Flox. Who knows? Save it for a more crucial moment. What more? What more can you ask for? This is six dice. You have two. Fair. No, three. Well, seven, four, dice. seven, uh, seven dice. Seven yeah. dice. Oh, my gosh. Maybe it doesn't but actually help because you have seven yeah. dice. You, you're likely to get six. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. This is the but biggest hunt roll I've ever seen. No Flox yet. Have you ever seen more than seven dice rolled on a hunt? I mean, that's amazing. Oh. Possibly, but it's definitely uncommon. <laughs> That's really impressive. All three rerolls. Mm -hmm. Okay, one there hit. Six. Although that would have been two extras for no real difference. Yeah. And okay. there goes the, all those extra tiles it could have got. Right. And if that zero had been drawn from the Isildur's Bane, that would have been a two for one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think, I I think one. Jason really I'll, managed I'll to this. sneak out of there. I know. The one isn't so bad, honestly, we'll have, because you're just... We'll have comments for Alaya. <laughs> That's great. Well, the the thing is, he's prioritizing military. You know, he's mm -hmm. he's ro he's saving his rings. He's he's using these military actions effectively. And the Fellowship is getting hunted, so... Yeah. Okay, Riders of Theoden makes sense. Mm -hmm. And then yeah, attack Dale from Vale. All right. Yeah, fair enough. No, well, unless you get to Erebor. Yep. No card. Gets a six, no card. So the Free Peoples hadn't drawn scouts yet, so that worked out well yeah. for Shadow. Yeah, I suppose, is this not the point you would have used your Swarm of Bats, though? Stop them from getting into Erebor. It was, certainly, it was certainly a good consideration. Mm -hmm. It worked out well that, that he didn't. Yeah. All right. The dwarves get settled. Yeah, movement. And he's got enough to fill up Helm's Deep. Yep, and now Helm's Deep is well defended. 
And still no... Yeah, Corsairs still are not quite ready. Yeah. Okay, he's going to go through the row first. Yeah. Makes sense. And then Jason hides the fellowship using Strider's ability. Yeah, makes sense. And then we get... And Isengard is focusing on four different theaters at once. What's going on? Okay. Here's the scouts. And uh, just after you move out from Edoras, so... <laughs> to use it in another way. Horn of Gondor to block. That's really so he's, interesting. Now he's gotten rid of the king is revealed. Right, and Jason got rid of Horn of Gondor right. over House mm. of Stewards. Which yeah, is interesting. Mm. Well, one is a military card and the other is not. <laughs> What's what's so your thinking on that? Because of the, I definitely would keep Horn of Gondor. Uh, I would, as long as he's planning to send Strider down with Boromir. Right. Or just Boromir on his own. Then House of the Stewards, he's not going to get any use out of. Right, but that's so interesting that he chose to keep it. So maybe maybe he is yeah. planning on sending that's what I'm Boromir. Saying he might. Uh, what did the shadow draw? Shadow, Drew, Pits of Mordor, and the third tile drawing. Yes. Wowie. Yeah. So. Whoa, beautiful lines. roll. And here's a sprint. If he wants it, I think he does. Attacking. Yes, I was going to say. Yeah, that makes sense. Dimmerald Dale was risky. This is where you kill the Chief of the Ring Race and Lords as well, where he doesn't think that the elves are ready to push out interesting so get rid of these re-rolls before it sprints off I, I think that's a reasonable move okay doesn't kill the Nazgul if he runs away but what the didn't even not not worried at all about the military <laughs> victory have you not played against <laughs> that's amazing it wasn't worth it to retreat back I guess I guess he's just focused on the hunt so hmm well that's gonna well I suppose he does have to turn and yes yeah, they're right here you need a leader to cause an attack but they don't need to move in afterwards it's not risk great so they played that correctly. So yes, Isengard can move in, I suppose, but he could do that with... You know, I suppose this way he blocks uh, Dog Gilder as well, but it's not necessarily a need. So focus on the Wooden Realm. It's going to, it could be a very bloody battle, though. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. And I guess the benefit of moving this army to South Anduin Vale is that as the fellowship continues to make progress, you can continue to harass them with that. That is a good point. That little, that little orc. But if he's focusing on the fellowship, why did he not play foul thing in Moria? It seems like he really wants a lot of hunt rerolls, but didn't want to mm -hmm. play the cards. I mean, to be fair, okay. he didn't actually have character action dice at that point on mm -hmm. either of those turns that he had the chance to play them. He didn't. So maybe he's just valuing saving the rings pretty highly. Yeah. They can They are definitely valuable. So using flocks now, that is a stopping them getting into Lorien. But really, is that such a concern? Wow. Yeah, but Lorien even quite conquerable. Let's we'll see. So okay. he got nothing out of it, and now does. Mm. Now let's go search. I wonder. Would it be? To... Oh, you go ahead. This lets him use move all his Nazgul for the attack and Woodland Realm and stuff. So, and now we can get better use out of Cruel of his death, I think is his thoughts. Which isn't a bad thought. And you're going to be guaranteed a reroll as the Fellowship has to declare in either Parth Celebrant mm -hmm. or South Anduin Vale. Yeah, it's decent. Although the elves could just start murdering orcs and things. Right, right. <laughs> okay, so the Fellowship hides... And with we'll the draw tile or no, he's going to use Orc Patrol. He's attacking. 
He's attacking with yeah. a drone. So he's using it as a combat card for this one. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, makes sense. All right. Rather, he still just being a his bear, so he got a extra hit out of it. Yeah. And two against That's two. That's a good trade for Shadow. Did not Draws draw the card. Okay, there's the card. Yeah. Okay, Woodland Realm again. So we're cycling here. Just using them both. That's an interesting choice. I wonder what he's trying to get. What what sort of um, card well, does he prefer? Well, I mean, he's getting used to it, and that's three extra hits. So. Oh, although one is blocked by a shield ball. It still, still helps, still counts. Oh, and he got the desire. It's not a good trade. <laughs> yeah, I'm really surprised. I, I really like playing those tile drawing cards because it thins the pool and it makes the red tiles better, but... Yeah, I definitely... I mean, they're always eyes, of course, but uh, <laughs> it could be good when it works. <laughs> so he's been pushing uh, and it uses Swarm of Bats. Oh, she's burning to the deck here. And still hasn't taken it. No cards left there we go. to take. There's one. He didn't take very much damage other than to his hand of cards. Yeah, he wasn't too so, worried about that. Mm -hmm. But there go all his elites and Erebors suddenly. Not in any real threat. Unless Gron shows up, maybe. Right. So here you go, Strider and Bormir, down into Minas Tirith. That's Amazing. Amazing. And this is where you play Day Without Dawn, of course. Right. And also the fact that Jason has seen two of the three hunt tiles go away makes him more confident to separate those companions. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's true. And there's, he thinks, just, yeah, less likely to need to run away. And he's trying to find a way to capture Aragorn and Bor. Whoa. Moving to Lossernak. That was amazing. I am what shocked. <laughs> With the will of the West instead yeah. of crowning him. He could have well. crowned he could have crowned him. He could have crowned him. I think that is amazing. So, so his plan is to use scouts with Gondor at war. Yeah, even with one swarm of bats out, that is risky. Wow. Well, I hope he rolls another Will of the West and gets back into the city safely. But this, well. yeah, does it madness? Yeah. Why? Well, it can get him to Dol Amroth, and then he's got uh, Sudan, but. Well, he can move to, he can use scouts into Pilar gear, I guess. Yeah. But isn't he going to... Or die, be, and he gets caught. Isn't, I don't know. Isn't he going to be faced with the same issue that... Exactly. Sh Shadow can use a ring right now to make an attack against Lasarnach, and then the scouts will get played. I guess at that point, Gondor will be at war. And then... Gondor is at war, because he's just smacked into... Oh, Escalion, Gondor's so. already at war. So why... I would have just done it. And, I don't know, win the fight. You've got Bray, you've got House of the Stewards to bring in. This guy. He might even be able to pull off a fateful strike against the Witch King, or something like that. That'd be a nice move. Yeah, why not crown... Crown Aragorn? You could have... I mean, wasn't his whole plan to crown yeah. Aragorn with that Will of the West? That's what I thought, yeah. So yeah, he's going to do it, surely. Move that risky that I must assume you have scouts. Still, I might have some exactly. that. Wow. Oh, so and he didn't... Mustering. Yeah. Mustering with a, a ring as well. Because he didn't want... He didn't want Shadow... Oh, he... I missed I missed the, this move. Yeah. Is it really worth it? What's the big deal if that happens? Well, Rivendell could actually take Moria. Even sacrifice Lorraine and get both. Your three elites could easily take that. But then you. The Mordor out. But then you bottle up Minas Tirith. Where does yeah. Aragorn go? You attack, you play scouts. Uh -huh. Then you then then if 
free people takes Dol Goldor at the start of next turn, then mm-hmm. yeah, that's amazing. No. <laughs> I take it you did not have swarm of bats, Jason says. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is the risk. Okay. Oh, but does it draw? Our cards are Citadel, so Minister is feeling chunky. But I mean, there are also twenty hit points or twenty-one hit points of shadow units out here. I mean, it's not infinite. Mm-hmm. All right. But with well, if Aragorn and Boromir were in there, and three elites and cards on top, it could be pretty hard to take. And it killed an Ent with. I mean, that is. I mean, House of the Stewards is the worst card, even if you do have Boromir. So I don't blame him for that decision. But that that's a good hand to have a seventh card in. So right. well here you go. I was gonna say Pits and Murders out, but here's Shadows on a Misty Mountain, so any attack on Moria is doomed to fail. Yeah. And Balrog of Moria <laughs> even more doomed. So what you could do is try and take out these Lorraine elves forward because they are still two spots and suddenly the Balrog shoots up from the forest and is like, <laughs> A I'd single like lone you. orc. A lone orc and the Balrog take out Lorien. Mm-hmm. Um, well, yeah, and then what's he going to do? Scouts away and Aragorn dies. <laughs> Amazing. So here's another. Oh no, he's not rolled yet, but it's almost the same. It's getting a lot of Will of the West. It's, it's just saying, should have crowned Aragorn. <laughs> okay. Yeah. He moves to. Doesn't know that he's got Corsairs. Because I think, never as a faint. Nor is he early. He arrives Gandalf precisely when he means to. It will make it hard mm. to take Minas Tirith. With all these extra units, I suppose. But yes. So uh, Lord Aragorn has shown... like He's maybe focusing... Oh no, it was to play Hordes from the east uh, up in the Easterlings rather than to play Corsairs. So yeah. it's like, cool. I could, I'm safer in Dol Armoth, but no, the Corsairs are here. I've just been holding it. But kill then. So. Yeah. There we and go. Yes, it's good. So I, I've played a game against Cheech where he assumed they were all in, but I retreated away in a field battle so that Boromir and Strider didn't get caught in Dolamoth. And then that was why people are now trying to say, like, you know, are you leaving anything in Um? Oh, well, actually, I'll leave four units so you can't take it. So well, that's clearly with foreknowledge you've got to commit first. So yeah, so sit down. Yeah. yeah, it was good. It was good that Jason asked for clarification before mm-hmm. deciding what to do. Yeah. Okay. But this is where you play scouts and you know run away. So with Emrahill out and these guys. Hmm. House of Stewards, drawing a bunch and of And here cards. he gets all the strategy cards. What does he get? Nothing really good. A shield wall and an advantageous position. Minas Tirith. Interesting. So, Alicia is trying to bottle up all of the companions. Mm. I think so I would... going for a DA here. Yeah, that's interesting. I think I would be worried about about these Gondorian units, and I would prefer to bring bring this other army and take care of these other Gondorian units before Shadow has it before the free people has a chance to muster up because they can muster up pretty fast in these Gondor locations. Yeah, there's nothing close to them because Umbar's commit. So yes, yeah, I suppose recycling the Eye is fine. Yeah, not bad. Very casual even if there's not a companion in the battle just play it <laughs> get rid of it exactly, exactly oh three sixes and only one hit only back one hit. Mm-hmm. i think that's a clever choice to stop there get to cycle an extra card and then oh, yeah. you can go straight from five down to what zero it's not drawn it yet Interesting. I so forgot to draw one. Didn't draw the character card. It might remember. It okay. Yeah, okay, he's done it there. Another red tile. Fellowship moves and Safely. does not get caught even against four dice. A third eye again. Oh, no, sorry. 
uh, third ring, and we but that's the second ring used by the shadow already. To get an extra reroll when they can declare away. And theoretically protect. No, I don't think so. I think that was a, oh, no, into Osgiliath and into West Terondor to, to deal with these Gondorian units. Yeah, what's interesting is I think yes, if you were willing to do that, why attack? What's the rush to attack into Minas Tirith? Mm -hmm. I mean, into Dol Amroth. I guess if the combat goes really well, you can kill Aragorn, but I think the chances of that are pretty low. Yeah. And now Enser activated. Yeah. So Rohan can take some hits, and you've not, you're not in any, I suppose, unless a hobbit gets separated into Fangorn. That's the risk. So he was there with that dawn for all as well, the West keeps rolling. Yeah. He'll be surprised to see it because it hasn't been played yet. One eye rolls one more. And then a bunch of movement. Jason has just rolled wow. tons, tons of plus two on Will's plus two on characters right now. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Okay. Moves right along. So two and two. And misses. He's still got his rerolls. Oh, he declared a way, sorry. Yeah. So. Just continuing to harass the fellowship. Gets a hit with those rerolls. So that mm -hmm. was that was skillfully done. Oh, good hit though. Just a one. Oh, Random, and he gets his hobbit yep. into Fangorn or Rohan. It's true. Yeah, I think that's going to be great. It's going to really threaten Ents. Yeah. Even though exactly. he doesn't have any Ents, it's it's now a pretty serious. But, yes, threat. that's that's good. So you can just leave your four units, and at least you've got a chance because you can't chain Ents. But yes, it's still a good spot to go to. Oh. Palantir out with two Palantirs in hand. Mm. Especially with no Will of the West from... Yeah, because he doesn't want to spend that last ring and get stalled in order. Yeah, that's interesting. I think I would have been happy to trade that character die for a ring and some die from yeah. a free people. Or get some use out of it. Yeah, did Shadow have Impulsive. cards to play? Yeah, so Shadow could have cycled yeah. both of these. Mm -hmm. But yeah. now he's cycling one. Oh well, we'll find it. He got an extra hit out of it, but took some. Yeah, but I think this is going to be enough to yeah. defeat Aragorn, I would think. Black Catherine commands will be good afterwards. So. Right, but it's getting played right now. Foul stench. Hmm. Well, survived. Managed to survive. Nothing to, nothing else to bring in, though. He's played great company. No, he still uh, didn't hit. So Dan and Imre Hill. He oh. used it as shield wall. Oh, wow. He used it as shield wall. I missed that. Yeah. That was that was a while ago, to fair, before he did this weird get out of Minas Tirith move. But he's just gotten trapped. I suppose he didn't know that... Uh, the Corsairs were available. Wow. So that was some good fellowship progress, though. And what's, and Jason can actually get into Mordor this turn, but... It's, it's his last ring. I've... It used up his last ring. Yeah. And if Shadow had saved Palantir, then that would have been a pretty tough choice. Of what to, what to play. Pelargir from Osgiliath. Okay, to bring in the reinforcements. Oh. Moving in about half. I think that makes sense. Yeah, Just to block those guys from joining up with the Witch King. Shadow of corpses. And, yeah, and that's interesting. Shadow just drew... I would have played some red tiles. Yeah, just you drew... You've got them to play. Right. Mm. And if you knew that... 
I guess he's trying to find he's trying to find um, cruel weather, I guess. Mm. But I think there's a decent chance you're just gonna reveal them on this on this move yeah, if Jason chooses absolutely. to move again. And because you're almost certainly gonna hit them on a three with. Yeah. Well, only two days. Yeah, most likely. And also, Black Captain commands for foul, for foul stench. I mean, obviously, it's nice to play cards in combat, but with two Palantir showing, I would have been tempted to save the Black Captain commands. But then again, you've not got... Like, Black Captain commands is good to get the Witch King after his conquest is finished, which is not. No, but, I mean... It just gives oh, you to an extra, get an extra attack. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. just relocate and bring these guys in, and what I mean, whatever you need to do. What else is he going to do okay. with those planters? All right, Dol Amroth again. Going for Dol Amroth with a defensive card here. Strange. I think just continuing to try and cycle. No hits at all. Although, Devil of Orthanc, a nice way to finish off Aragorn. Yeah, well. that could work well. It doesn't need to bring in the reinforcement circle. Final movement, so gets a hit, move. and will they be revealed? Wait, this is the last. Revealed. Yes. Nah. So it took two damage first. Yeah. Exactly. So he is taking two. Yeah, because oh. he rolled a three. Yeah. And it's plus three. Yeah, so that that six oh. and three actually it hits. So this is one corruption difference. I'll put notice. Right, because he had actually moved. Yes. Okay, so that's oh, a wow. difference of a whole. Because that's a difference of a companion, it's, right? He would have lost. Exactly. He would have taken Gimli here easy. That's, I guess he's trying to avoid mm -hmm. Morgul root wound. He's trying to avoid Morgul wound, I think is what's happening here. I guess. But. Dreadful spells oh, completely dreadful misses. Spells. Completely misses. A shame. I suppose it makes sense to try it, but you, still, you don't get these red tiles in. So, I mean, that's the sort of thing. Do we need to. We'll find out if it makes a big difference to the murder game then. Because this is compared to playing if Fellowship has got a booster. I suppose that's the thing when we suddenly air this and like, there's a mistake halfway, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't count. And he uses a, his last ring to play a red tile when the Fellowship can't move straight away. That way he'll be able to get the second red tile in before the fellowship moves at all. I guess. A bunch of red more. tiles. And there's a anti helm stoop card. And he's made no effort to attack the higher elves. Power to Grey is still sitting there. Yeah. Which um, means uh, the patented uh, Del rush of Uh, Jason could happen. So yes, but this happening, he'll keep moving, or I'll get me thrown down. Maybe uh, play his blue tile in as well. Yeah, that's interesting. To not, you had a moment. Shadow had a moment right here mm -hmm. to play. On on they went and get exactly another oh, red tile massive. in there. And there are a lot All of box. eyes. It's amazing. Can you still see this, uh, Andrew? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. great. All right, Lamadon from Osgiliath gets resolved. Yeah, bring in the reinforcements. Okay. And leave it open, Tristan. That's funny. A lot of extra attacks dealing with. And he with... goes back. Yeah. It's a lot of actions used up. 
So neither person plays the extra ones. I don't know if that's necessary. Worth redrawing for a two RS. It's the stop. It's mm -hmm. the stop and reveal. I think that makes a lot of sense. Oh, amazing. <laughs> amazing. Well, who needs to add extra red tiles to the pool? Unlikely. Quite unlikely. All right. So he's hit himself with damage. So but the... probably take that. He'll draw that other red. So yes, this is a good move. Rush into er Edoras before he can muster up. Although it would mean that he can't attack Helmsteep without uh, But it's already going to be so full. First. It's already going to be so full. Because, well, if it wipes forwards, then it would be an extra elite in. All right. So Dalaroth again, the Deadly Strife. Or on, oh, on slot. wow. I'm so surprised that. about that. I feel like a card like that can really help you to try and take Helm's Deep. In with where he's aiming his points at, Shadows and the Misty Moon is the least valuable one here, especially with fighting Unica. If he's going for... Yeah. Fascinating. Well, we'll see. Hey, it kills Aragorn, I suppose. That's right. So... Yeah, just take all four, you don't need I, any extra. I think so, too. Excellent. There we go. There you go. Yes. Mouth of Sauron, that's going to be really useful to this battle in Minas Tirith. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he can just use a character to get him in and to move them elsewhere. Maybe chuck somebody into Fords. Interesting. Just gonna attack. Here's where he's attacking Fords of Aizen. You didn't want to take Edoras while you could for free. I guess you don't really need that extra point unless you're going to go after the Shire. Oh, because, well, that's weird that he did so because Jason just moved down as well. Yeah, and if I had... If I had extra, oh, if I had extra movement, why not take care of Lasarna? Is that is that something worth taking care of? At some point. Okay, shield wall played, but not scouts. And only yeah, one, that hit. Seems fair. one hit. So back. that's exactly yeah, right. Let's see how many. All of but, them. Because yeah. this time I put a leader in instead of. Yep, yeah, I think that makes Let's a lot of sense. Time. And there are no ends to be played. Yeah, and this is exactly the moment that I'd be Doesn't very happy. Know that though. Yeah. I'd be very happy to have fighting Urukai here. I guess exactly. if you lose Saruman, then that card becomes unplayable. Wow, a lot of eyes in the hunt pool. Hunt pool it's has very five <laughs> eyes in it. Oh my and gosh! And Mithril out. And Mithril's gone. That is scary. And he does need to push as well because suddenly. Yeah. Victory. This is an exciting game. Oh, and no, very little movement. Possibly for the best. <laughs> oh. Changing directions. But do you really have time in... for that? What's the force pool? Oh, look, the elves only have a single regular in the force pool. Where did all the elves go? Into Dolamos and Wooden Realm. Makes sense. Into Dol Amroth and Woodland Realm. Wow. Yeah. The and and now they're in the ground. And <laughs> and Shadow <laughs> and Shadow has uh, Shadow does have a uh, Balrog, which is just so pleasant mm, yeah. to use against Lorien. And he did keep Shadows on the Misty Mountain, so Lorien definitely get taken. So what? So what's but, what's going to happen? There's going to be Lorien, and then where where are the final points coming from? From Minas Tirith. This is not, especially with uh, well, Gandalf said, but you got the mouth too, right? And hill trolls now. Unless he's going to try and push to the Shire and Edoras, but I think Edoras at this point is pretty tough. I like that Lorien move. I didn't see that coming. Mm -hmm. So here's he Edoras. Taking Edoras, but now I mean he's risking. There's no musters as well, so Rohan taking Orthanc. Not a terrible move. Well, unless you're... Are you spending both of your character dice to do that? 
I mean, if he wants to go for military, then he's got the. Uh, he's got lots of turns of taking one corruption. <laughs> And he's seen two of the tiles out. Now, Las Arnach is finally taken care of. Mm -hmm. And... And he's moved further away, so we'll find out if he does. What? So he's just used, used Balrog <laughs> to, to attack Lorien. <laughs> yeah, amazing. amazing. Surely get rid of the red tile or something. And a day without dawn. Mm, I guess I, I guess he's I guess he's thinking that it's fine. I'm going to be able to take. I mean, yeah. actually, that that might be a really hubris. If Jason wins this, then this is the, the battle. The though I mean, there's ball. there's no way there's no way that 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 army is going to survive. I, suppose. I mean, that's a giant army with five leadership, and there are no ends. Okay, you get the one regular in there. It's not going <laughs> to help much. Yeah. Again, so like this would be great. This would be a great chance for fighting Urukai, right? That yeah. would just have. I, I mm. guess he did use it to kill Aragorn. So doesn't necessarily use it. Doesn't need it. Ooh. But he, he had a, another. Uh, he had another onslaught, which I would say had less utility. So. Did he? Oh, the shadows on Misty Mountains, right? It's a very nice card, but when you have this big army you're setting up, then you don't necessarily need lots of extra units. That was really a great play going up to Lorien. Mm -hmm. And then I just got drawn for yeah, damage and busy. reveal. <laughs> Jason said, pleasant trek so far, somewhat yeah. sarcastically. Two red tiles and a four reveal. Exactly. Okay, Erebor is going to be the final points. Oh, with only 10 regulars. No, but the hill trolls. I suppose it locks them down. The hill trolls. I suppose uh, he's got a lot of leadership to send in. A Dane Ironfoot's guard also is going to come. Yes, that's an easy call to play that. Okay, army's or moving. Or go for Orthanc with no way of stopping him. Decent shot. And we take Edoras. Yeah. Decent. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dane Ironfoot's guard. Right, because Not the ring wraiths that. are abroad. Right? There could have been ring wraiths are abroad. And that's what he's worried about. That's why Jason's but, playing this year. I guess, but I don't see Ring Race or Broad. I don't see. I mean, actually, it's impossible for Erebor to fall in one, in one attack with no elites. True. He's only got one action. True, but you want to get your but, five dice and your extra leader reroll in there to, to make that last as long as you can. But now, I mean, this is his last chance. To, would have been his last chance to take or think if that's what he wants to do. Which I know Jason really does want to do. Right, but it just doesn't matter, you know. Mm -hmm. Winning halfway doesn't doesn't help. All right, so he's adjusting. Yes, he's to moving to attack Lorraine. Okay. And bringing the witch. I know we come to kill. See, this is where you really want to play that, but also you really want to save it to actually get some good armies in. Erebor. Yeah, I don't think you need that at all. So okay. what's his no cards? Okay. Two sixes. This should be a fairly yeah, straightforward just battle. Burn through. He's be rolling of sixes. Uh, well, go to him around. <laughs> yep. It's not looking good for the free peoples. Another. And Rage of the Dunlendings yeah. could make the Shire easier. Yeah. But probably Jason can recapture Edoras. I guess we'll see. Enough options. So he knows that he has to be able to take, retake Edoras. And move in to save the Shire. Mm. Or beef up the Shire. Shadows on the Misty Mountain. Why that and not hill trolls? Oh, maybe he's going after Rivendell? Mm. There could be... Well, if he puts him in my grand, absolutely. But he would hoover them up with the extra Lorien. No, I think, I think this could be Shadows on the Misty Mountain into Moria. Yeah. And then a muster, a normal Orthanc uh, muster... And then 
the Rage of the Dunlendings, and then you can take out take out Rivendell. Yeah, it's quite a lot of moves and not necessarily this turn, I think. Well, one... I mean, these are pretty efficient. One for the mm. um, muster, one for the um, Rage uh, of the Dunlendings. Then you still have five dice left. One to Holland, two to Trollshaws, three to Rivendell, and then two more attacks. Yeah, I suppose. It is a little, it is a no. little tight. Yeah. Okay. And then he's got a we come to kill. Why? So at least this makes him commit a tight. But he's got character dice to make these movements. What is happening here? Why did Jason take fold? Why so did... he did that right there, and he moved to Dimmer Dale again, separating these two armies. What's the What's the benefit of this move? I don't understand what's what, what Jason it is even It makes Lorien harder to get to attack Rivendell. He doesn't know that it's suddenly going to pour out lots of done endings. Really? What is he thinking? What What are you imagining that Jason is thinking here? Well. I would have been sending Lorien, possibly the Shadow Gathers or Shadow Lentons, to join up with Moria and then take Rivendell. So he's at least stopping that from being crazy. I see. He has to I see. Attack. He's stopping the he's stopping the threat of Shadows Gather, Shadow Lengthens. Nice. He doesn't know that's not actually a threat, but Yeah. All and right. yes, now here comes the Rage of the Dun Lightnings set up. Yeah. Obviously. That's pretty good. But then he has to leave something behind in Moria. So does he? And there's still no there's now no musters, although there's no attack base. For he, the, he doesn't have to leave anything because Jason doesn't have a ring. He can literally. He does have a character dice, I suppose. Yeah, but what? So what? I mean, why do you why do you need to leave anyone behind? Because then you got the whole next turn to get yep. any points. Yep. Don't need to leave anyone behind. Where was Ellen? Let's go to Drew Dan. Fair. Yeah. I guess this is the problem with Kyrdan's ships. It just it makes the elves. Mm -hmm. Huh. I will go alone. We're getting rid of Legolas just because we want to not be revealed and hope to draw mm -hmm. some of these low tiles and hope that Rivendell manages to survive the round. That's a cool idea. Right. So yeah, he just, Pippin down. Because that's better. better to take Pippin because there's Legolas can die to this two reveal. There's yeah. no zero reveal, so he's guaranteed now to get Gollum the next time he takes damage. Mm -hmm. All right, Rivendell, you have no support, but will you be able to survive? This is this is pretty tough. So as Shadow, do you bring in do you, yeah, you bring in the Witch King. Get to you're yeah, gonna get to cycle range. an extra card. There we go. The mouth moves yeah. just in case this goes poorly. Mm -hmm. it goes so poorly. <laughs> and no rings. Okay, Rivendell. We come to kill in daylight. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is only good cards, yeah. A lot of hits. A single regular oh left. Only one. Yeah. Okay. Desperate battle. That's gonna do battle. it. Probably. That Let's was the game. Mm -hmm. Exciting. Well, there we go. I think that play, the uh, shadow, really had a, a tough time in Gondor, but then the efficiency of the attack onto Lorien and then the attack into Rivendell that really came out of nowhere on the last two turns of the game. Mm -hmm. I, that was a good spot uh, to go for it though. So yeah, yeah. nice. And uh, that, that yeah, was so ten, 10 turns for Shadow. It's a shame for the Fellowship, but I'm surprised that that went that way. Right, right. We thought for sure. I mean, there were so many times I would have made different decisions as mm -hmm. the shadow player, and it really paid off well. I mean, I that was just um, 
you know, to have not uh, never played yeah, these yeah. two red tiles and to have didn't mm. play a single uh, tile drawing card. Yeah. As as an then action. again, like the I think the big mistake was that Strider move. I should have just kept him in minister. Interesting. He's got. He had guards. He had brave stand. He could have put Gandalf in as well and just really kept them all. So, or then again, if he does lose, he's down to four days. So, I definitely felt that was not a util utility move. Right. But I say good, good use in Delorean. Uh, good pivot. Even though it risked or think, and because Jason had already used all his rings, then he can suddenly push in for a very close military victory. Yeah, I guess the main threat of that move with, with Strider into Las Arnach was to actually get the elf into North Anduin Vale to be able to take Dol Golder at the start of the turn. But mm. Elysia properly read the fact that Jason had scouts and therefore mustered into Dol Golder to prevent those easy two victory points for yeah. mm -hmm. free. Because it's always like, oh, they're just on two. That's not a victory. But then suddenly they get another two, and it is. <laughs> so, yeah, it only takes two small mistakes like that. So, well, but that was pretty good, and pretty much exactly an hour. So, good timing. Congratulations to Alicia for the first win. We look forward to checking out the next games. Hope you all enjoyed this, and mm -hmm. um, thanks very much, Andrew, for your comments. Happy to be here. All right. Have a good rest of the day, everyone. Thanks. Yeah. Bye. Goodbye.